Hall of Famer Fergie Jenkins, greatest pitcher in Chicago Cubs history, has joined us in the booth. How are you, Fergie? I'm fine. How's everything, guys? Great. Good, good. good. Having fun? Oh, yeah, definitely. The Cubs are having fun. Man. <laughs> Three, let's see, 47 and 19 at home, best record in baseball at home, 84 and 47 overall. And they're not uh, taking their foot off the pedal either. No, I, they uh, have really, they, they have really done well. Inside to Rodriguez, ball one. Rodriguez, Mercer, and a pinch hitter for the Pirates. And off the plate again. What's going on uh, these days, Fergie? Uh, the foundation? Any? Uh, yeah. Uh, the dates? biggest thing is the, we're here for the for the Ron Santo uh, uh, JDRF. They're uh, going to have a a dog. Uh, we're trying to train and and raising money for that particular situation, which is an outstanding, uh, I think, idea that uh, I think Vicky Santo came up with. Right. So. A diabetes alert dog. Correct. Pretty, uh, pretty neat. Two yeah, balls, we're going to be signing, steps. I think, a, a couple of different uh, uh, turnstiles in the next couple of days. Okay. Which would be outstanding. And make sure you stop by and say hi to Fergie. This weekend against the Giants as Rodriguez strikes out. Nice comeback by Cahill. Uh, Fergie and friends signing. You got. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. If, uh, you know, Lee Smith's coming in, but I'm not sure if he's going to help me do some signing. But uh, I'll be out there. I have my foundation. Uh, we got uh, a couple of employees out, and uh, Carl Kovacs is down here with the with the foundation, and uh, Vicky Sandal will be around. And it's always good to have Vicky. She mm -hmm. really, really enjoys uh, doing that also, which is really absolutely. Nice. And in the uh, the legacy of her husband Ron, uh, alive and well. We talk a lot about how much Ronnie and Ernie would have loved watching this team. Oh man, they've been outstanding. They'd they'd had smiles on their face from ear to ear. <laughs> they are really, really playing well. One one. Uh, two and one. So Cubs are playing the Pirates. Always think about Roberto Clemente and those uh, great teams in the uh, early 70s. Well, they had a good ball club. Backhanded play. Bryant throw to first is late. Infield hit Mercer. Uh, tell us about somebody on the Pirates that maybe people don't talk about enough. Those particular <laughs> clubs. Well, Jesse Gonder caught quite a few games. They had a guy named May with another catcher, <laughs> along with uh, St. Guillen. Uh, Willie Stargell was always tough to get out. I mean, they they had they had a, a good ball club. Uh, I didn't get a chance to face Parker when he was with uh, with the uh, Pirates. St. Gian had a reputation of being a real good uh, bad ball oh. hitter. Was that legit? Yes, I bounced a curveball and he hit a double over Ronnie's head. <laughs> I mean, he, he swung at anything. He didn't have to throw a strike, and I tried not to to get it too close to the plate because he was going to challenge it with that long bat and swing. But uh, I mean, make him hit the ball. Don't walk him, because he was up there to swing the bat. They called him the Lumber Company for a reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. They were Rennie Stennett. They had a, a bunch of good players. Hebner. You know, and, and well, yeah, Hebner was on that ball club. But before the the two individuals uh, that were the shortstop, the second baseman, they had Mazeroski at, at second and Gene Alley at third. I mean, at uh, at, mm -hmm. at short. So they had a, a good infield. Yeah, they had a really, really good, hit, good hitting ball club. I think later on they had Richie Zisk. Mm -hmm. They had some guys. That Al could Oliver, play. right? Al Oliver, Roberts. They had some guys that could swing the bat, and they weren't bashful either. They come here to Wrigley Field. They wanted to pound the outfield. Mm -hmm. right? Two and one, uh, Matt Joyce. So you'd have pitched at Forbes, yeah? Yes, definitely. Uh, oh, yeah. What stood out about that ballpark before they built? Long, rivers? deep center field. The batting cage used to be in center field, behind the flagpole. <laughs> short right, short left. 
Did you like the all-purpose place in Cincinnati, Pittsburgh? Uh, the turf didn't bother me because I wasn't on it. It's just that I hated to get balls in the gap. Right. That was always that extra base hits. But uh, the mound was always dirt, so I never had any problem doing that. And, and the, the heat didn't bother me, but uh, the multi-purpose fields, uh, there was like three of them. Like the Phillies, Pittsburgh, and Cincinnati. Uh, football, baseball. And that turf was terrible a lot of times. I think the, the worst one was like the, the Astrodome when they used to take it up for cross country races and rodeos. You could see the All seams, the seams yeah. the zippers and everything. I Dead mean, spots. It, and oh, totally. It's terrible. But we played there for quite a few years until they closed it. There's Harrison with two on and one out in the seventh. Cahill would love a ground ball at an infielder here. Well, that's his game. JD and I would love to see baseball return to uh, Montreal. And, uh, hopefully one day it'll happen. Got to get a ballpark though. Uh, yeah, I think they, they they've got maybe a, a, a piece of ground picked out downtown Montreal, but it's going to take a lot of money, a lot of uh, corporate money, and uh, maybe individuals. But uh, they want baseball back again. Rim and Wood. In the Cubs bullpen. One out single on the infield by Mercer. Pinch hitter Joyce walked, and now it's Harrison. One ball, no strikes. Wind howling in from the north tonight. And yeah, most pitchers at the uh, Want to throw? Want to pitch tonight? With the uh, that ball to the left might not go. Might go to right, but uh, you maybe make a mistake or so. It gets caught up in the wind. It's not going to go that far. Two and one. Three hill ready, but Harrison is not. <clears throat> The ground ball, but it eludes Bryant and Russell. Mercer's going to be held by Rick Sofield at third. So they're loaded for Josh Bell. Yeah, all of a sudden we've got some drama here. Bases loaded. Big powerful kid coming up. McCutcheon and Polanco to follow. Fazio making sure everybody's ready in the bullpen. Yeah, and Joe, Joe wants to go that route. Yeah, and Joe just sent Contreras out there to to buy a little more time. So Joe will make a change. <laughs> you know, this is the kind of him. game right here when all you have to do is throw strikes. You know, make him hit it. Yep. You know, you've got a four run lead, and you really, you, you just gotta, as they say, put the dagger in them. <laughs> well, we'll see if Grimm can do that when yeah. we come back. 5 1, Cubs in the seventh.